Today I made a pork patty dinner from my food storage and this is how it turned out. The first thing I did was make the biscuits. I used one and three quarters cup of flour, five tablespoons of shortening, a teaspoon of salt, and three teaspoons of baking powder. Then I mixed it all together and added three quarters cup of milk. Then I mixed it all together, rolled it out on the counter, and cut it out into biscuits. And I put them in a baking pan. Then I baked them at about 450 until they were done, about 15 minutes or so. Then I put the green beans in a pot, and I had already put the pork patties in the other pot. I had the hot water boiling for my mashed potatoes and I had some uh, mushrooms that I had already rehydrated in a little bit of water. So I added the mushrooms to the meat and then I added about three tablespoons of flour to the mushroom water and added that into the meat mixture. Kept cooking it until it thickened. I added the instant mashed potatoes to the boiling water along with some milk that was made from powdered milk. So that's it. The mashed potatoes are done, the meat is done, the green beans are done. It's time to eat. So there it is, the pork patties with the mushroom gravy and mashed potatoes, green beans, and my three-year-old peaches. <laughs> uh, biscuits with corn cob jelly. Now let's see how those pork patties taste. I canned these pork patties using the Quebec pork meatball recipe, uh, except I didn't add the, the cinnamon and cloves and uh, mustard to this. Uh, and I just shaped them into patties, fried them, and then canned them up. And they are absolutely delicious. I tell you, I think this is my all-time favorite canned meat now. It tastes a lot like a Salisbury steak. Uh, the old peaches they tasted just fine too so that's how i made the pork patty dinner from food storage i hope it helps